Goldie up here in Brisbane, that are probably expecting nice conditions, but it hasn't really turned out that way, has it? No, it's no surprise. I think, I think it's nine out of ten days, it's beautiful sunshine, 23 degrees, and the day we come down to play, it's 25 and thunderstorms. Um, obviously, the boys have just been for a walk. What's the idea behind that? Just to get out and stretch your legs. I think, you know, when you're, when you're away, you can sit, sit in your room for eight, nine hours and, and not do anything. So it's just good to get out and stretch your legs, get the body moving, and, yeah, just start, start preparing for the game properly. Massive game tonight. Obviously, a lot of emotion for Brisbane. What are you trying to do early to, you know, hide that emotion from the Lions? Oh, you just got to know it's going to come. You know, they're, they're going to be up and about for the first five, ten minutes, and, you know, it's, you just got to try and weather that storm and, and then look to get look to settle and, and, and relax and, and play our game style because, you know, they're going to throw everything at us. We know that. But, you know, a lot of those milestone things and, and you know, retirement games and that sort of stuff, it only lasts for, for five, ten minutes. Do you take confidence in given the fact that we've won three out of four interstate games this year? Yeah, you take a lot of confidence out of that. But you also think we haven't won here since 2005. So, you know, I think it's definitely something we've got to tick off. We, we ticked off Sydney. We ticked off the, the two Perth trips. So this is not one of those games that we've got to tick off. Um, the Lions are obviously without Lewenberg and West, but Stefan Martin's a pretty unique player, isn't he? Yeah, definitely. You know, I played basketball with him when we were growing up, and I think you know, his athleticism and, and his jumping ability and, and his follow-ups are, is, is quite good for... You know, I think he's probably one of the best ruckers. I think he's got averaged the most possessions out of any ruckman, so you know, he's, he's definitely going to throw a few different challenges out, and you know, his movement around the ground is something I've got to definitely watch out for. And the Lions are 17th on the ladder, but the competition's so even, isn't it? They're, you can't take them lightly. No, you, you saw what they did against Bulldogs in, in Melbourne and, and also Carlton up here. So anyone on their day can, can beat anyone. So you, you got to be wary for it. And, you know, they got some very dangerous players, especially those, those small forwards in, in Green and Zorko and, and Taylor. So, you know, they've definitely got a lot of things we've got to be worried about. And, you know, we've got to be running our game to, to get the victory. Still about seven or eight hours before the game. What's the plan for the rest of the day for you? Yeah, not a lot. I'll probably relax in my room for a bit. Might go, might do a little bit of shopping. This shopping strip seems quite nice. I might have a look around here and, yeah, just try and try and stay relaxed mainly and, and not sit, sit in the room for too long. So, yeah, if I'm in there for a couple of hours, try and get out and go for another walk and, and things like that. Good luck, Goldie. Cheers.